Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Double R.C. Apostle of Great Millstone, who are the apostles of uh, all Israel. All right, if you can receive it or not, and say it takes you, buzz, pushing the word and truth and sincerity. Um, I just want to get into a quick lesson and um, let me get straight to it. It's Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. All right. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay. So I'm going to read it again. For, uh, Philippians 2 and 12. It said, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed. All right. So the elect. All right, whoever they may be, they always obey the uh, the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, not as in my presence, not only when Yahweh Shai was here. It said, but now much more in my absence. So you have to be the same. All right, you have to be uh this this truth, this walking this truth. It's not a uh, show and tell. It's not a um. Oh, uh, this brother around, I'm going to be this way, or, you know, it's none of that, man. This is a, uh, this is just what it is, man. It's a lifestyle. It's just what it is, man. You know, these are the law, statutes, and commandments, all right, given to the Israelites, to the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, to the guideline to, for them to follow, man, okay? And it says, uh... So you're going to be the same when you're around the brothers, when you're not with the brothers. You're going to, you're going to walk according to the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai and his truth. It says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So, hey, you have to carry your own cross in his truth, man. Carry your own burden. Whatever placed upon you, you got to do what Yahweh Bashim Shai asked of you and, and what you have to carry, man. But, does, does, that, does that mean not be a brother? No. That's not what that means. Because if you do what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai commanded you to do, you're going to be a brother. But also, you're going to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. This is uh, John 15 and 10. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Alright? So if you love your brother, you're going to do what? You're going to feed the sheep, as, as Yahweh Shai told Peter. Alright? This is uh, St. John, chapter 21. I'll just get to the point. It said, 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. So that's the commandment Yahweh Shai gave us, man. Feed the lambs. Feed them properly. All right? Love one another as the Lord has loved us. So that means and, and with, with all that, you're going to be a brother. You're going to have mercy. You know, you're, you're not going to uh, rush judgment. You're going to have proper judgment. Okay? You're going to have, you're going to be on fire for the word. All these things go into working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right? Because Yahweh Shai is the greatest example, man. Even when he dealt with Judas, all right? He, 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 uh, when Judas was around, he still treated Judas as, uh, as the other disciples, man. You know, he fed him. He, he broke, broke down, um, scriptures to him. Gave him the understanding. So if we're following the steps of Yahweh Shai, we have to be the same way. Yahweh Shai, uh, took rebuke, uh, Salakia. He took, uh, reproach. From the people, even when he was doing good to him, man. He's the best example, uh, hey, who, anybody ever written about, man. 
Yahweh Shai is that man. He is that dude, man. Okay? So, working out your own salvation is doing what Yahweh Shai asks you to do and taking it cheerfully. Whatever comes along, whether it be uh, 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 you losing your job, you losing your woman, you might not have money like you want, your car might break down, uh, and, and through all those things, you still got to keep pushing. You still got to keep trucking, man. All right? This is uh, Philippians 3 and 8. It says, uh, I started uh, 7. It says, but what things were gained to me, those I kind of lost for you, I was shy. So, you might gain certain things in this truth, and the Lord might take it away from you, or you might not have it anymore. Guess what? The Lord didn't want you to have it. You know? Because everything in this truth, from what I'm learning, and I'm still a babe, but everything in this truth is a test. A test to see, uh, are you going to fall out behind it? How would you act? Are you going to proceed? Are you going to go harder? Is that going to hinder you? Whatever it may be, all right? Everything's a test in this truth, all right? It says, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, my Lord. So starting with me first and foremost, because I'm saying it, and to you brethren out there who listening, hey man, you got to count all things but lost for the excellency, man. As we... Continue to move forward towards the end, coming into that time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation. Okay, you're gonna lose a lot more things, you know. Trim the Lord is, is, is uh putting that fire on us, man. Because we have to be your faith, have to be prepared, and, 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 and um, and, and, and your faith has to be on point, man. <laughs> It has to be built up for the day of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? It said, For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win you, I was shy. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be in good standings with your how about shimmy, I was shy. Now, of course, it all goes down to the election, whether you elected or not. But guess what? If you have this truth, and you pushing it the right way, correctly, okay? Hey, man, y'all about to me out with shots, giving you a shot to potentially be on that, that first go-round draft pick, man, to get up out of here. Because that's the whole mission, to get the hell up out of here so we can finally live life, all right? And we can enjoy the fruits of what y'all about to me out with shot, how he set it up to be, man. You know, having rulership. And all the goodly things that's going to come with it, man. All that goes entail of working out your own salvation. Because we're trying to win you, how we shot, man. So we count all the loss of things but dung, man. And we carry ourselves in the fear of your how about I will say all the day long, man. Okay? That's why I start off with the scripture where it said, uh, not only in my absence... In my presence, but also in my absence, man. The fear of the Lord is going to take you a long way. And all those these things of being a brother, feeding the sheep, having humility, taking rebuke, all those things works into the, the whole thing of working out your own salvation, man. You know? So if you're in the truth, man, you got to fight. You got to fight for the truth. Strive for the truth of the death of the Lord.